So I'm gonna tell everyone that the Hypervibe goes to seven millimeter amplitude. Like most of them, most of them go to, like this one goes to 10 amplitude, or, and this one goes to 12. Um, but I wanna tell people, the, the levitational force, there's a difference between levitational force and levitation. The ones that have like 13, well, just say like, uh, just just say a Zazz or a um, or a Vmax trio. Those have 10 amplitude. There's more. Your levi There's difference between levitational force, which means like ha like your heel is on. How many seconds in the session is your heel in contact, getting that force? In the ones that go to 13 amplitude, there's there's a strong like there's more displacement, and it's giving you you know more levitation but not as much levitational force so but if you want just say someone wants like less ballistic impact that's this is seven millimeter amplitude when that's going at 35 hertz this is the only one that i can bend my knees i mean lock my legs i would not recommend that for most people but like just for a few seconds it doesn't you don't feel that intense jarring where you're like your eyes start watering you're getting it gives you like a headache i mean but i wouldn't recommend anyone you know you know lock their legs but on this one like i'm talking like level 35 but this one um it goes to seven millimeter amplitude i'm trying to show people that's like if you look on my other videos you'll see that little the little the, the tippy edge it's like almost twice as high and and that can be jarring for people especially when you lean back on your heel um you know it can be you know the ballistic impact is much less on this so if there's there are certain people that I would recommend this for. I mean, all of them, you know, have benefit. But if someone just say, I mean, usually people that buy this one have usually people have bad backs or they have bad knees or they have a foot problem or some or some kind of pain or whatever they can't handle a lot of jarring. So, um, and this machine is three thousand dollars at G17. Um, let's see. I mean, it's. I mean, it's. I mean, I'm not going to say one's the best machine. I mean, you know, I mean, some people buy the little $400 little machines on Amazon and, you know, it gives you, it gives them a little foot massage, but it's, you're not going to fill it up your back and you're not going to, you're not going to feel the pulses go through the body. You're just going to feel, you know, in your feet. Um, you're not going to feel, it's not going to, you're not going to feel the fast twitch muscles in your femur or your, you know, your, your thighs and your, you know, and, you know, you're not going to feel that. You're not going to feel that. So, um, what else can I say about this? Um, DC motor, low EMF. Um, what else? I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's quiet. If, but if you do it on the, on the higher speeds, you know, it's loud. But compared to another machine with, that has, like, higher amplitude, it's, like, much quieter. Um, let's see. That's, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, if anyone has any questions about this, I review this against every other machine. And this one, like I was saying in my other video, is the closest one to the Vibraflex. And the Vibraflex is better. It does ramp up quick. I mean, it's this one is, I'll show you. I'm going to show you it's a 20, how it goes to 26 hertz, like instantly. Hold on. And I'm doing it. I'm going to turn up the highest hertz. This one also goes, this one goes to, well, the, the G17 goes to 35 hertz. This one goes to 30. That's 30 hertz on, this is the most expensive oscillating pivotal machine out there on the market. 